enough craziness. Andy Basis here. Plectrums are the order of the day. Um, sadly, I don't have my CCM 100, so this is going to be camera mic. Yeah. There's some really cool picks. Um, Hush, I got just sort of, I looked into the Hushmi picks. They looked really cool. So I got myself a few. Um, he actually sent me a Jazz 3, like laser X pick. Uh, I don't have it because I gave it to my guitarist. Because for me, a Jazz 3 is, is way too small to use on a bass guitar. Um, what I've been using for ages is the old Faithful Green Tortex. Uh, 0.88, really snappy. Lots of bite to them, very very cool. Um, this is an old backup. Uh, it's a Fender. I don't even know what this is. Like point two five something. It's really really thin. It's it's like bent. It's purely there as a last resort. So, hush me. We'll start with down here. This is a hoof glow attack. Uh, it glows green. I. I don't really have a good way of showing that. Um, I'll, there's be a link to the website down below where you can see they are really bright. Um, it's been in my gig bag, so it's not got very much charge. You basically charge it by leaving it in daylight or putting it under a light bulb. Um, it's really, really sharp. It's quite long, which for me is very weird because it means I've got to have a lot of it sticking out if I'm going to use it. Um, it's pretty cool. Even though it's it's compared to the Dunlops, it's like double, it's like twice the thickness. It's still really easy to use. It's sort of not as snappy on the attack. It's still got a lot of attack because of the way that he sort of there's a beveled edge on the side of the pick. It's just not as snappy because it's a bit thicker. Um, because of that, it has a bit more low. It's really really cool, but for, it's a little bit weird. It would take it's going to take some getting used to. This one is just a standard hoof glow. It's really similar in size to the Tortex, so immediately it's just it kind of feels at home. Apart from it being probably the same again thickness to this one so it's probably like three mil four mil um, but again it does everything you'd expect happened it's a little bit more of the low end a little bit less attack but there's still again as I said because of the way it's beveled on the edge there's still some <laughs> It's just meaty. It's just that's the way I, I like to describe it. This stuff marks up a little bit. I've noticed it goes a little bit black, but there's not really a scratch in it. It's just more. It's not wearing away. It's more just you know I can't feel any scratches in it. It's just colouring it a bit. Uh, but they are awesome. Very very well worth checking out. Like I say, they are really not. They're not cheap. They're nowhere near. Um, the prices that I've seen for some custom picks, I mean they are handmade um, out of a material that he makes or he purchases somewhere. Um, they're like non-solvent, you're not going to be covering your stuff in random green crap. Um, this here is the Drop by Hushmead. Um, it's again thicker than this one again, but it's got a bevel on it, so it's, you know, it just feels really nice, but it's also got that sharp tip, which is sort of, at the end, it's similar to this, again, similar to the attack. It just sort of, it just means that you can still get the attack on the note, but it's it's still got all the goodness of that hoof glow pick, because it's a bit meaty. Cool. 
Um, I can, hopefully, I'm going to grab some more because they do have in like yellow and blue, and I, I'd imagine that they're up to, to do that. Some of them are also made of different stuff, like it's different acrylic or it's a sort of a, a material. This because this is very noticeably a different material to this, so which is a different noticeable to this. But um, it's really really cool. Check them out. Um, compared to sort of in price range, this was free. This was about 25p, which is like 45 cents or something stupid. Um, this was 25 pounds, so like 35 dollars. Um, this was like 40 pounds or no, it was 40 dollars. It was like 35 pounds or something, and this was about the same. Um, so they're not cheap. I'm not even trying to make out that you know. Anyone looking to go into a plectrum should uh, should go and buy them. Just go into a guitar store and buy loads in the twenty p draw. Um, but if you're like me, you've been playing these for ages, looking for a change, something cool. You know, if I play this live, it's going to glow in my hand, so it should make for some cool sort of photos and just sort of visuals as well. People looking at me going, oh, "What's going on there?" But anyway, we're going to play it with some dirt. Um, I'll play the drop um, through my new uh, demon. Um, I'm still working on like the full dirt sound, so uh, it's basically in the loop, unblended. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of low end loss, but it sounds hench. Peace out. <laughs>